So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to Steam and then you want to click on your library. Then you want to find Apex Legends, you want to right click on it and then click on properties and then click on installed files and then click on verify integrity of game files. Now once you've done that, you want to click on general and then next to launch options, we're going to type in dash use all available cores. I'm going to also leave this down below in the description so that you can copy and paste it. For the next step, you want to head over to search and then type in File Explorer. Click on it. Now once you're on this, we're going to click on this PC. Now you want to find where you have Apex Legends installed. So for me, it's on my C drive. Scroll down. Program Files 86. Scroll down again. Steam. Scroll down again. Steam Apps. Common. And I have all my games here. And then you want to find the r5apex.exe file. You want to right click on it and then click on Properties and then click on Compatibility. And then you want to tick run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 7, disable full screen optimizations, and run this program as an administrator. And then click on OK. For the next step, you want to head over to search and then type in Task Manager. Click on it. Now, once you're on this, you want to look for Steam. If you see Steam open, you want to right click on it and then click on End Task. And now you want to look in the bottom right of the taskbar, you want to click on the arrow. And then if you see Steam, you want to right click on it and then click on Exit Steam. And now you just want to open up Steam again in Apex Legends and then the problem should be fixed.